Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we shall consider a numerical on transistor currents. So without wasting much time, let's consider a numerical straight away. So this is the given numerical wherein it says a transistor has beta is equal to 150. Beta is the current gain and IE is 2 milliamp. What is IE? It is the emitter current. Calculate the collector current IC and the base current IB. So the task is to find IC and IB. So let me consider the solution for this uh, by making use of uh, the various equations that relates uh, all the currents of the transistor. So let me consider the solution for this. So what is the first equation we have? The first equation we have is the equation for the emitter current IE is equal to the collector current IC plus the base current IB. So this is the first equation which relates all three parameters, all three currents of the transistor. So let me call this as equation number one. So similarly we have another equation that relate uh, collector current and the emitter current. So which is IC. IC is equal to alpha times IE. So this is another equation. So let me consider this equation as well. So this I call it as equation number two. So similarly we have got another equation uh, which which relates the parameters the gains alpha and beta. So I can make here use is alpha is equal to beta divided by 1 plus beta. So this is another equation which is useful to find the different parameters. So let me call it as equation number 3. So let me call this as equation number 3. So what, what I do now here is uh, the task is to find the parameters. What are the parameters? So one is I need to find the collector current. So I see I have to find this and I have to find the base current, the input base current IB I need to find and uh, for to find all these things what are the given parameters so the given parameters so let me write them given beta beta has been given as 150 so let me write beta is equal to 150 and uh, it is also been given the emitter current emitter current represented as ie and it has a value of 2 milliamp. So these are the parameters that have been given. So what is the task? So how should I proceed further? So let me consider equation number 3 first. In this equation, if I put the value of beta as 150, I am going to find the value of alpha. So after finding alpha, I can put it in equation 2. Uh, I know alpha now and I know IE so that I can find the collector current IC. So once I get the collector current IC, I can go back to equation 1, I'll put the value of IC and IE so that I can rearrange the equation for IB and I'll find the base current IB. So that is the method uh, we follow. So what we do now here is uh, substitute, substitute the value of alpha, substitute the value, uh, not alpha, it is beta, substitute beta in equation number 3. So if I do that I can solve for alpha. So le let me do that first. Alpha is equal to beta divided by beta is 150 divided by 1 plus beta. It is 1 plus 150. So it is actually 150 divided by 151. So if I do that, if I calculate that using the calculator, I am going to get the value of alpha as 0 0.993 so normally alpha will be in the range of 0 0.9 to 1 so hence this is going to be the value of alpha which I got in this numerical as 0 0.993 so once I know the value of alpha I can put this in equation 2 so let me write substitute substitute alpha the value of alpha in equation number 2 if I do that substitute this the value of alpha in equation number 2 equation number 2 is IC is equal to alpha times IE so let me write the equation 
आई सी इज इक्वल टू अल्फा टाइम्स आई ई सो नाउ द टास्क इज टू फाइंड द कलेक्टर करंट आई सी अल्फा आई जस्ट फाउंड इट एज पॉइंट नाइन नाइन थ्री दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा एंड आई हैव टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ई विच इज बीन गिवन एज इन द न्यूमरिकल एज टू मिली एम्प टू मिली मीन्स टेन टू द पावर माइनस थ्री एम्स सो लेट मी पुट द वैल्यू एंड मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द कैलकुलेटर आई कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सी सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सी एम गोइंग टू गेट आई एम गोइंग टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सी एज पॉइंट नाइन एट सेवन सो जस्ट डू द सिंपल मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सी एज वन पॉइंट नाइन एट सेवन सो विच इज वेरी मच नियर टू द एमिटर करंट we can we normally say a collector current is approximately equal to the emitter current so here uh, that is uh, verified ie was uh, 2 milliamp and ic we got it as 1.987 milliamp so once i know the value of ic and ie so i can put it in equation 1 so that i can find the value of ib so what i do here is substitute substitute the value of i c and i e in in equation number 1 so what is the equation number 1 so it says i e is equal to i c the collector current i c plus the base current i b so now the task is to rearrange this equation in terms of i b i b is equal to the emitter current i e minus the collector current ic so just put the values so what is the value of ie ie is 2 milliamp minus ic we just got it as 1.987 milliamp so if i do the simple uh, subtraction i am going to get the value of ib the base current ib we we are going to get this as a 0. let me write 0.013 milliamp so normally we keep the base current ib in terms of microampere hence rearranging this in terms of micro i'm going to get this ib as 13 microampere so this is going to be the value of the base current ib so in this numerical uh the emitter current ie and uh, beta was given the task was to find the collector current ic as well as ib so making use of all the equations of the current of the transistor so we found the value of alpha first once we find the value of alpha i can find the value of collector current ic later i went on to find the base current ib as well so this was the numerical on transistor uh, currents so i hope you people have understood i have explained this numerical step by step if there are still any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching